Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of Deletion in One Month. Today we're going to be designing an aeroplane, a bubble aeroplane, as well as getting ready for the final episode of this series. So, let's just get into it. As you can see, a lot has changed since the previous episode. All of this. So that was like the bloody fast montage, wasn't it? Anyways, first, before I do anything else, I want to design this spot here because it's quite quite a cool spot and quite pivotal to the base, you know? I also have this here and I haven't really been doing much in the form of terraforming or anything. I've been mostly focusing on my base because I think the terraformation is not complete and that area, if I got more time, I would probably focus more on it, but it's fine, it's fine. I want to have the best final episode I can possibly have which means I need to get ready for it. I also wanted to say, I got a bloody diamond. I got a diamond while mining. I also went mining for a long time and got a decent amount of stuff. I also got trident and bad omen as well as two ominous banners and a bunch more ink sacks so I can make this base look sick. Now that you're all caught up, let's get into it. So in the picture, it's kind of grayish concrete. I want to use cyan terracotta. However, I don't think we'll have enough time. So I think I will go with black concrete powder. Well, black concrete powder and then make it into concrete. I think that's a good idea. And then this is also where we're going to be having the actual launch pad, which I want to just quickly add torches to so then mobs don't spawn. Just to make it look a bit more futuristic. I think that's quite cool. Anyways, let's sleep and gather the concrete making stuff. The really annoying thing about gathering gravel is I always get so much flint. Too much. Too much flint. Quick bet everyone, I think there's a trident drown just over here. If I get hit by the trident drown just once, then I have to delete delete this trident? I don't know how I'll delete it. Um, I, I'll have to chuck it out, I guess. Right, yeah. That was pitiful. Oh god damn it, I have to get rid of the trident. I am out, wow. I am really low health. Did that guy just take half my health? That is insane. Wow. Okay, well I guess the trident is already disposed of just down there, so I don't need to do anything with also, it. Also, I just want to say, these stairs have been helping so much while gathering stuff. Like, I have had to go up and down so many times to get all of this concrete stuff. And these stairs have seriously made it much faster. But, you know, you just have to watch that video, I guess, guys. Anyways, let's make that black concrete. Whee! Okay, 88 concrete powder. That should be enough. Fingers crossed. Oh, I only have one ink sack left now. Oh boy. In the movie, it was kind of like a rectangular box that just went more over on this side from the looks of it. I just cover this entire area up with black concrete and that should be good. This is like really the, the fun stuff of Minecraft, just getting to build a lot and enjoy building, you know, highly recommendable. <laughs> I think on these corners, instead of having full concrete blocks, I think I'm going to make black stained glass panes instead because in that case, I can actually see through them and it doesn't look as drab. And there we go, little skybox. Can't remember what it was for in the movie, but little skybox. Yay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to finish off the hand railing and then we can finally get to building the bubble copter. I don't think that was its actual name. It was something else, something to do with the bubble, I think. I can oversee the entire world from this box. <laughs> this is kind of sick, actually. I love this. I think that should be enough wood. Wow, I only got one from each of those sheep. I thought it was like two or three. Before the next episode, I will light all of this stuff up for the uh, visitors. Perfect. <laughs> this looks so bad. I thought it was a three block area, not just, oh boy. This looks so 
looked so bad. That looks like it's an actual black pillar, but it's not. I really, really like the look of that. Now that I have finished that a bit, I can go to sleep and make the bubble copter. So I got the bubble copter on my phone and now let's build it. How do I build it? I don't know how I'm going to go about this guys. <laughs> Might not have thought it through properly enough. So let's just get started with the legs. How am I going to build these? Maybe I could use levers for the angle parts and then chains for the other part of the leg. So I know it's not technically staying coherent to the actual look of the bubble copter, but I think I just gotta do what I gotta do with this, you know? I also need to decide how big I want the bubble copter to be. So I think from here, this should be the front. Let's do two in and also one behind it. But now comes another problem, actually. How am I going to make... Oh boy. How am I... Mm. Ooh. I don't know. What is a block that is very similar to the other blocks that is white that isn't an iron block? Because that would be horrific to have to use an iron block. I think I'm going to use white wool. I, mm. yeah. I have enough. No, I don't have enough blocks of iron. I'm going to use white wool. Let's abandon the color theme for it a bit more. Maybe a blast furnace, iron trapdoors. I think that's how I'm going to go about it. Oh my God, they're so expensive. Back can be the spinny spinny. And that's the engine. I've dealt with the back of it. Now I need to deal with the center. This just keeps getting harder and harder. I like that as the center thing. Get rid of this because that doesn't really matter. And then place it underneath there. And for the bubble thing, I don't even know what I could do. Uh, maybe a big bubble. That can be for the bottom part of the bubble. Maybe for the center console, I can have a glass block in the middle. Just like that. As you can see, I'm running out of ideas. I have no clue how to make this look good whatsoever. And I've run out of glass. I need more glass. God damn it. And there we go, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting for looks. Uh, but I'm just going to say it exceeds them. And there I think we go. It looks like something. I don't quite know what, but it looks like something. And I've made it accessible to... Um, I'm just kidding, you don't actually get trapped in here and have to break the glass. You can literally just do this and then jump out, which is really cool. Yeah, that's that's uh that's that's a bubble pod. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> it looks incredibly bad, but I kinda love it. Like as much as it might look terrible. I do kind of love it. Thank you for sticking around this long. Uh, trust me, there is a bit more to go, so don't leave just yet. But I just want to say before we get into the next part, please do make sure you're subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're enjoying it, please like. Cool. Let's go on to the next part. So my final video idea of this series is basically getting a bunch of friends together and raiding the trial chambers for the first time. Well, for my first time. I think that'll be the ultimate fun. And just cap off what has been an incredible series for me, my motivation, and my YouTube channel, really. It's insane. The thing that I actually need to get is a trial chambers map. And as you can see, there are a bunch of villages for me to choose from. However, I think it would be kind of nice if I were to get it from the first village that I had gone to, if I, if I can get to it with the camera over there over on the far left yeah i'll zoom in so let's jump to there last time i checked you get the map from cartography villages so as long as i find one of those or find paper to make one of those i can get started okay i think i'm gonna need some paper <gasps> baby turtle oh my god a baby turtle oh that thing's so adorable hello baby turtle hello goodbye baby turtle have fun Enjoy your life, baby turtle. Enjoy. Ha 
<laughs> so much paper, so much paper, so much paper. Your new trade is... Is that the guy? Your new trade is cartography. And right there, that's what I need. Oh god, it's gonna be expensive though. Wow. Whew. <laughs> Let's get grinding, guys. Let's get grinding. Oh no. The toad police. They found me. They're slowly, very slowly, very not even moving, scurrying towards me. Yeah, you're fine. I reckon I'm gonna steal this bed and live in the castle because I'm the dirty rascal. Wait, no. I'm not the dirty rascal. You guys are the dirty rascal. Yes. There we go. Let's collect some bones. I reckon a night of bone hunting and I should have enough to make enough, whatever the word is. Come here. My hat just broke, of course, because it was gold. That makes sense, actually. Damn it. I got zombies. I don't want you guys. I want the bones. I want some skeletons. Give me some skeletons. Some skeletons. No skeletons from that one. No skeletons from that one either. I need more skeletons. I need more skeletons. Give me more skeletons. There's one over there, but that's too much work to get. Skeletons. Uh, I really hope this is going to be enough bones. Let's just see if I have nearly enough bones, you know? Oh boy. And paper, paper. Oh god. Uh huh. Uh huh. So close. I just need like two lots more. I think I'm going to journey towards the village over in that direction so then I can get more iron and other stuff. So I'll see you all in a moment. Oh, my base looks cool from here. Sunflowers are actually not too bad for composting. So if I just collect a bunch of these, I might be able to get enough so then I can, well, not finish it off, but at least have some. You know what's funny? The first episode I did this. And now it's the second to last episode. And I'm doing this all the same. <sighs> this series has been brilliant. Thank you all so much. There we go. How much iron? Five, let's go. The most I can get, let's go. There we go. And axe. I still have my hoe on me though. This is going to be really good to trade back to the villagers. That village is from another town, so it's not scummy because I stole from one town to give to another. Sugar cane. Oh my God, there's so much like hay here. Yes, I am stealing all of your hay, all of your life's work, and you will never, ever get it back. All right, I think that is everything from this village gotten. So let's head back to the other one and start trading for the stuff. This base actually looks bloody sick. Look how cool that looks, bro. I love that so much. Why didn't I just come collect some of the stuff here? So slight problem, everyone. I need four iron to make a compass. I only have two. And I know where one iron block is. Well, I have enough white wool to replace it at least. This sucks, but you know, I have to actually get ready for the next episode. <laughs> Let's make all of this into bone meal. Yes, let's go. I think I do have enough. 24 times two, that's 48, so I do. Yes. One, two. Let's go. I'll be enough. I can't wipe a smile off my face. This being able to sit here, smelting gang ready for the final episode of this series. It, it really does put a smile on my face, guys. Like, I have done so much in this se series, but also not too much, but like so much, 85 days worth. And God, the videos have been doing incredible and I just really appreciate it. Like, thank you all so much. Anyways, let's get the final couple glass and let's get ready for the next damn episode. Glass panes and one, two. 
Trial Explorer map. Get ready for the finale. I'll see you all soon, and this is going to be good.